Aloha and good morning everyone. It is currently Thursday morning and we are getting ready to head down to St. George for a soccer tournament for Josh. We spent most of the morning packing and getting things done and dropping my other kids who didn't want to come this time to my mom's house and the dogs. Um, they're just going to spend the next five days being spoiled by my mom. So they're happy about that. We also had to pick up a rental car because our car is going on 16 years old and there's certain things going on with it that uh, Scott thought that maybe it wouldn't make it down to St. George. So we rented a car. Now they were supposed to give us a full size sedan, but they didn't have one. So they gave us a smaller car. It's a Rogue Sport, a Nissan Rogue Sport. So at the moment, Scott is trying to play Tetris, trying to get everything into the car. Here it is, it's a Nissan Sport rogue rogue sport i don't know what you call it <laughs> but it's a nissan and it's a lot smaller than we anticipated so we're not sure if we're going to be able to fit everything that we need or want to take hopefully we can so that's where we're at right now hopefully we can figure this out and get on the road soon um, we have a airbnb reservation waiting for us it's a condo that we've stayed in before so we're looking forward to that but we're not looking forward to the four hour car ride but that's really the only way to get down there, so we're gonna have to do it. We got here to St. George at about 5 p.m. and discovered that the reservation that we had made through Airbnb for a condo, somebody messed up something so we didn't have a reservation. So it's about eight o'clock right now and we finally got things straightened out. They put us up in a, um, a hotel at the Ramada Inn and they refunded our money and then now they're supposed to find us someplace to stay for the duration of our um, stay here. So hopefully that works out. but. We got a hotel for the night and tomorrow we'll just have to see what they come up with. So I'm tired, it's only eight o'clock and I'm tired, but it's just been really frustrating and annoying and irritating, I don't know. I don't even know what happened or whose fault it was, but we're in a hotel now, so I guess that's, that's what matters. And we'll just try to have a good night's sleep and figure out things tomorrow. So this is our hotel room for the night. You come in and to the left is the bathroom. Not too bad. Kind of smells funny in here though. I don't know. Hi Jeff. There's a door that connects to the room next to us. A little closet that we won't be using. Mirror. And there's a TV and two queen size beds. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Here's the TV. Jeff bought his Xbox. <laughs> Little coffee maker, desk, the air conditioning, the window that is open. Well, not open, but the curtains. This is Jim. We got him for Jeff for Valentine's Day because we had gotten Vanessa a red panda. And he wanted one. So he sat in the slot. Sloth? Yeah. He decided on the sloth. It's the next day and we're still here in St. George. Just to recap, our Airbnb reservation was lost and we had to scramble to find some place to stay. Luckily, Airbnb reimbursed us or refunded our money and found us a hotel to stay in last night. Unfortunately, the new bookings that they came up with weren't feasible for us. Some of them were for campsites and we don't have any camping equipment and others the rates were just too expensive so luckily my husband was able to get a new booking at a day's inn at a discount through his work so here we are at day's inn it's older but it's nice and clean it's a little small but you know we'll take it because we need some place to stay until tuesday Thank you. 
Anyway, so we had to check out of the Ramada at 11, and then we weren't able to check in here at Days Inn until 2, so we did a little bit of shopping. We actually ate breakfast at IHOP. Um, I opted for the, I guess they have these new gluten-free pancakes and waffles, and I decided to try it. They weren't too bad, although the, the texture kind of freaked me out. I don't know, it was like really grainy and everything. But if you put enough strawberry syrup on it, it's good. <laughs> Did you go already? Yeah. Like, Waiting for a point. Yeah, that kid. That's cute. Oh, I have the launch. Sorry. I forgot the launch. Your turn. Wait. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> he just predicted me! <laughs> That's his first ever one. That's okay. I have 12 now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> And afterwards we went to Walmart and got a few things that we had forgotten to pack and or things that we needed and then we found this store called the puppy house and it's just a store where you can go in and adopt puppies If we didn't have such a small rental car, we probably would be going home with the dog. Luckily for my husband, that's not the case, so yeah. <laughs> so now we're just here hanging out at Days Inn in our hotel room, just waiting for tonight. Jeff's team is having a team dinner. We're gonna have some pizza and soda and all that, um, but that's not until about seven. So we're just hanging out and watching movies, playing video games, that kind of thing. I think Scott is taking a nap. Not a really exciting day, but at least we have some place to stay. So Jeff has two games today. One is in about an hour and a half and we need to leave for that soon so he can get there to warm up. Then the next one is, what, 2.55? It's at 2.55, so it's later in the afternoon. So hopefully we'll be able to have time to eat lunch before the next game. Now if we could only leave, but Scott's in the bathroom. Game day, just about to leave. <laughs> Jeff looks so happy. It's actually Wednesday today, um, so we are home now from St. George. I'm just here to wrap everything up, I guess. Um, the last clip showed was Saturday, I believe, and Jeff and his teammates had two games, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. They won the first game and unfortunately lost the second. Uh, but, you know, they played well. Their coaches were really proud of them. So there was nothing to be, you know, ashamed of or anything. Is that the right word? Um, 
No regrets, I guess, is what their coaches were telling them. Sunday was a quiet day. We ended up just hanging out in the hotel room. We didn't go to church that day. We did try to go and look at the St. George Temple, but unfortunately it was closed um, due to renovation. So you couldn't even get onto the temple grounds because they had dug up everything. So once we figured it out that we couldn't um, visit the temple, we were driving back to the hotel, but Scott took a wrong turn or something, I don't know. And we ended up driving through historic Santa Clara. some really cute um, homes and they ha also had some historic um, sites that you could probably go and visit but we just drove through the town but it was a nice way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Monday Jeff had two games again one was actually at 7 55 in the morning so he had to get up extra early just so we could get there on time for warm-ups and they won that game which really put them in a good mood because if they won that game and the later game they would be in the finals um, unfortunately they lost <laughs> the second game but it wasn't you know for lack of trying i mean they really they played hard it was just that this team was much more skilled and um, they just dominated the entire game and it was kind of sad because you know the boys were trying really hard and they were getting frustrated with themselves and they just really struggled. And as a parent, it was really hard to watch um, them get scored on and you know, it was just, so they didn't win and they weren't in the finals. Although there was a hot second where they thought that there might still be a chance because the final game of the semifinals was going on at the same time. And depending on who won or lost, I don't know, um, Jeff's team still had a chance to be in the finals but the wrong team won <laughs> or lost i don't know why <laughs> um so jeff and his team were done so at the end of it their coaches gave them a really good pep talk i mean they did really well in this tournament and it doesn't seem like it but they're pretty much a new team together they just this team was put together during the summer i think and so they've just been playing um, their spring season is coming up, so um, we'll see how they do. But, I mean, they've really gelled well since um, new players were put on the team. The coaches were really proud of them, or the parents were really proud of them. I mean, they, they played really well. So the tournament ended on Monday, but we ended up not driving home until the next day, Tuesday. So I guess around this time, down in St. George, is when they have all their tournaments going on. They have um, tournaments for soccer, baseball, softball, volleyball, basketball, everything. So um, it's, it was pretty busy. So anyway, a couple of years ago, we went down for our oldest son's lacrosse tournament. And we made the mistake of driving home the same day that the tournament ended. And that meant we left St. George about eight o'clock and it was snowing really hard and it was scary. I mean, we didn't get home until two because we had to drive so slow and it was terrible. So we vowed that anytime that we would go down there if we needed to, that we would not leave until the next day. And so that's what we, we did with this tournament and even last year's tournament. Tuesday in St. George, it was about 64 degrees, I think. And we left at about 11. We came back to 30 degree weather <laughs> that was not fun but you know it's good to be home after five days away from my nice comfy bed because I'm not gonna lie the beds at the hotel weren't very comfortable for me anyway and I don't know if that's just because I have fibromyalgia but I just my body is not happy right now but I am glad to be back in my own bed in my own house but that was our adventure down in St. George. We had a good time, you know, hanging out with Jeff and, and his teammates and watching him play. I'm biased, but I think he's a really great player. He 
he's really athletic. I mean, he plays right wing really well, but he's also really stepped up in playing keeper. And I've had other people, you know, compliment him on how well he plays. So we'll just have to see if he'll continue in the keeper position or um, or what they're they're planning for him for spring. But anyway, um, I just wanted to end this video properly. Hope you guys are having a good week so far and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!